Charlie Murray and welcome back to the Sith Inquisitor episode 14 where we are now making our way over to Drome and Cass for the mission Legacy which I believe is the final mission of chapter 1. We're nearly there guys! We're nearly there! It's so exciting! And then chapter 2 and chapter 3 is literally a breeze. It's like I counted 7 planets or something like that left so you know it'll go quickly. Apprentice. You've arrived on Draman Kars. Marvellous. Let's get right to work. Secrecy is vital, so I've secured us a nice, out-of-the-way spot for the ritual. Meet me in the innermost chamber of the Dark Temple, where you pacify the apparition, and we can begin. It's time you told me what this ritual entails. I will, Apprentice, but not here, not now. Come to the Dark Temple and I will share all in private. But there is one thing. Given the sensitive nature of this ritual, I would ask that you not bring your pirate companion. Your Dashad is fine, desirable even, given the sensitive nature of your bond to him. As long as I can bring my lightsaber. I don't see why not, though I can't imagine you'll have to use it. Oh, really? Now, hurry and meet me in the Dark Temple. The sooner you arrive, the sooner we can begin. She's very eager. Well, Andronikos, apparently I can't bring you. So, have we got any last words in case, I don't know, I die because she's clearly up to something? You busy? Uh, well, kind of, but... <laughs> oh well, yeah, I'm afraid so. Ancient riddles don't solve themselves. I think I know something to clear your head. What say we find a quiet spot in the ship? Get to know each other better. If you're thinking what I'm thinking, I can't wait. Well, let's find out. Kissing! They're in love! Have I ever told you how beautiful you are? Oh, thank you. Even with my tattoos on my face? Oh, you're so... Oh. You might have mentioned it. Well, I'm just gonna keep saying it. Then again... Oh, we're in the bedroom. Then again... He has tattoos on his face, so we're kind of like a match made in heaven. We both have tattoos on the face. Well... That was a lovely explosion. Well... Will you stop that? Well, at least, you know, we've kissed before, you know, I die, so that's something. Wait, why am I going that way? Why don't I just do it this way? This way's quicker. I'll tell you what I might as well do, because, you know... Can't have Andronicos, and we've got some time to spare while I make my way over there. You can go on an archaeology mission! Yay! I know, right? Oh, I could do some Nihilite solution. Because, because I need it for this. Yeah. For fibrous Nihilite solution for the sim weaving stuff. Haven't done anything sim weaving, so, you know. Um, and we'll do that. And then by the time, by the time I get to Zash, that'll be completed and there'll be no interruptions. Where am I going? I'm going to the Dark Temple. Can I quick travel over there? Kind of. Oh, there's stuff I could be scavenging here as well. Oh, how exciting. But I'm missing all of it. Actually, no. No, let, let me up. Let me up. I want to scavenge it. I want to scavenge it! Yay! My archaeology has now gone up. How exciting. Kind of. There's something more I need to scavenge here, apparently, but I can't see it. It's literally right there. Wait, are you telling me it's on the other side? Um. Oh, well, it is. What a surprise. Thank you. See, you're done already. I might as well set you up for another one, to be honest with you. I'm still not going to get there in time. You're going to miss me. What's that supposed to mean? Do you know I'm going to die or something? Here we are again at the Dark Temple. It is the scariest place I've ever known. Well. Not really, but I'm trying to make it into a song, damn it. Hey, I got some crap. Can you take my crap, please? No, I need to take my crap. Why haven't I got an XP boost up? And why is it I don't have my buffs up? Oh, all the experience I probably could have gotten in the last episode. My word. Yeah, whatever that means. I always forget, when I don't have my rocket boost, I should be using my force speed. Why aren't you guys reminding me to do that? You're reminding me to do everything else, but you're not reminding me to do force speed. Pah! Seriously. Results are much better than they appear, Master. Oh, thank you very much. Unexpected setbacks occurred. You have failed me for the tenth time, HK, and you're. 
Okay! Are you gonna be doing this again? I'll take that as a yes. Wait, so HK51 is an available companion? That I could have out? Oh, okay. Um, oh, okay. I'm guessing this is gonna be part of a bonus mission. Oh, thank you. I'll, I'll take that. Thanks. Cool. Just wondering when you'd be finished. Bonus mission? No. No bonus mission this time. Okay, well, I'll just stealth the whole way. Don't mind me then. You probably won't need your lightsaber. Pha! You know nothing, Lord Zash. Are you praising a dead person? Serious? Oh my. Fucking hell, that scared the hell out of me! Her face! It was like, bad enough with the voices, and then that scares the hell out of me. My word. Rendezvous with Zash. Speak to Darth Zash. Of course, you're Darth now. Such marvelous power radiates from you now. Clear, strong. You have truly come into your own. Why are you covering your face? I arranged for you to receive the title of Lord of the Sith. I hope you realize what an honor and responsibility it is. As a Darth, I answer only to Darth Anaton, who answers to the Dark Council. As a Lord, you're only one step below that, and you tower above many. It's about time greatness got its due. Do not get ahead of yourself, Apprentice. There is still the ritual to undergo. And I'll warn you, the ritual may prove a trying experience. But once it's done, you will be truly great. Truly powerful. I don't believe you. If by powerful, you mean dead. Apprentice, where did you get an idea like that? When have I ever tried to do you harm? The truth is, I have not been completely honest with you. I wish I could have been, but the timing was not right. She's an old lady. Look at me, Apprentice. I am sorry to have concealed it from you for so long. But it was such a pleasant vanity to share in your youth. You make Brodians look kissable. <laughs> Listen, Apprentice. Various force rituals have helped me maintain my appearance and some of my vitality. But inevitably, life fades. I'm dying, Apprentice. My will... My intellect, my spirit are as lively as ever, but this body is dying. Too bad you can't just order a new one. But apprentice, that's exactly what I've done. Me! Be prepared. As the ritual ends, you will likely see me collapse before you feel it taking effect. Do not panic. Know that this is what I have trained you for, primed you for, from the start. This doesn't sound promising. Don't worry. I imagine it will be just like falling asleep. <sighs> we will accomplish so much once I am in command of that wonderful vessel of yours. Just hold still. How about... No! Just gonna kill you. Well, I will do if you don't do that to me. Just gonna kill you now. <laughs> Darth Zash thinks that she can get a hold of my body. <laughs> oh, you're funny, Zash. Wait, hold on. No, wait. Need to wait for this. Yep, there we go. Gotta wait for that to disappear. You can't stop this ritual from happening. Whoa! Oh, right into right the camera. Apprentice, what have you done to me? <laughs> Why couldn't you just hold still for a few moments longer? Why couldn't you call the monster off? I need to learn that ritual. That monster broke through my defenses, interrupted my concentration, and diverted the entire ritual. Five years of preparation. Finding the right person, training them, researching the artifacts, gathering them, wasted! You were my legacy, my one chance to defeat death! You fool! You have ruined everything! Could be worse. At least you're not dead. No, that's true. And this beast's body makes me quite powerful indeed. 
powerful enough to punish you for your rebellion. Ah, uh, punish? That's not nice. This doesn't need to end in violence. I guess it does. What is this? Why can't I hurt you? Because Bond. um, he's that yes. Damn Bond. How can your will be stronger than my own? I am the master, not you. Change is hard, but you'll learn to deal with it. What new kink has insulated itself into the twisted cores of my unfortunate existence? First two like Horde abandons me to this meager creature, and now it is as if my body is no longer my own. I'm just as befuddled as you, whoever you are. I am Kem Bao, servant of Tulak Horde, who was called Lord of Hate, Master of the Gathering Darkness, Dark Lord of the Sith. Last I remember, I was attacking the female Darth when I felt this force, like something trying to drive me from my body. It was not my mistress' death, but another. So I resisted the force's pull, and then the darkness came over me. Tell me, Master, what is going on? It seems Zash went into your body. But you didn't leave. What? No! No! But your ancient master's artifact has been turned against you. And through some strange and miraculous trick, neither you nor Zash have full control. Where were you when everything went sideways a few minutes ago? I have been watching from the shadows all along, powerless to help. But it's clear my help was not necessary. I know, because I'm awesome. Flesh of my flesh, you have defeated your master. The great danger that I feared is past. Your rise to glory complete. I don't know whether we will chance to meet again on this side of death, but I am at peace. I came to say goodbye and good luck. I guess not everything Zash dreams is a lie, then. You are Lord Kalik now. It was once a glorious name. Use it well. Bye. I'm telling you, Corrin, Zash is not all there. All this talk about dreams, it's nonsense. No, Cor. Oh. I saw Zash enter, and we both saw her first apprentice go in later. If I went around expecting everything I dreamt to come true, I... Look, Carl. Hi! Her other two apprentices. Darth Zash! You. you murdered her! She started it! She did try to steal my life, after all. Hold your weapon, Carl. This is not what Zash wanted. My lord. We have not met, but Carl and I are Zasha's newest apprentices. I'm aware. She honored us by telling us about a prophecy, a dream she had, one that has now been fulfilled by you. Yay me! I really am the best. Darth Zash dreamt that her strongest apprentice would eventually rise to destroy her, but she also foresaw that the same apprentice would rise to bring new glory and strength to a fragmented Sith order. She went knowingly to her death at your hand, so that you could lead the Sith to glory. You've lost me. I have no idea what you're saying. We have been anticipating this day since Zash first leaked the rumors of your incredible triumph over Darth Scotia. Zash Sco answered to Darth Thanos on the Dark Council. He'll want to speak to you, but we are your servants. Scotia! Scotia, my word. Um, announce me, monster. Cam, will you do the honors? Gladly, my master. Behold, the heir of Kalik, slayer of Zash, successor of Tulak Horde, Lord of the Sith. Now bow. Even Kem's doing it. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, that's that's that mission done. I'll take that. Uh, I guess we just need to go to um. Darth Zash's office. Uh, with the events in the Dark Temple behind you, it's time to start settling up your affairs of Dark Zash's success to get to Darth Zash's old office. 
Uh, and it's that and use your holocaust unit there. Okay, we will do that now. Um, but I use a teleport. Oh, I have no teleport. Usually it automatically gives you a teleport, but this time it can't. Well, I know her office is in the sanctum entrance, so, you know. This is give us a tease for chapter two. And I'm trying to do this because I know this chapter is a bit short. Uh, this, this episode is a bit short because all my episodes are being short because... Again, I'm not paying attention to how long things are. Oh, I've got some new abilities. What have um, I got? I got exploit. Ex what? Exploit. Oh, it is exploited. Oh, God. Uh, cool. Maul. Darth Maul. Uh, Dio 649. Ooh, that seems like a cool ability. And speed of piloting, rank two. I you will go far. Oh, do you now? Well, I'm going to put that ability there, and that's probably the wrong decision, but never mind, eh? And we're going to go to Darth Zash's office. Anyone here? Darth Thanaton, I believe we spoke once before. I hope you've settled into your new role. Your brief career has been of great interest to me. And with Darth Zash dead, I think it's time we finally met. If you'll be taking up Zash's work, we have much to discuss. Meet me at the tomb of Darth Andrew, outside Kar City. This doesn't sound promising. Forgive me, I lack Zash's natural charm. Trust me when I say, I look forward to meeting you. Something about that Thanaton guy rubs me wrong. Your pirate friend has good instincts. Thanaton had me confined to Bromon Cast when we killed Scotia, and he'd have done worse if he had proof. He's not to be trifled with. Be careful. Is this how we're gonna live life now? We're gonna live life with you, just sort of in cam? Okay. So, yeah. Zash is in Kemval. How exciting. And now I've taken up her, 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 this is my office. Yes, this is, this is my office. So I feel I'm going to, if I can get in the right spot. Let, 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 let me get in the right spot. Let me go into walking stance. So that, you know. And then, yeah. Just do it as a chair. There we go. There we go. Cam, can you get off the table, please? I'm unfollow. Thank you. So, here we are. My office. It's exciting. So next time, we will go and meet Darth Thanaton. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting there. We're slowly but surely getting there. And I will see you next time. Stop! I was lying. I kind of stopped recording. And then I saw how long this episode was. And uh, it was only about 22 minutes before editing. So it's probably going to go down to like 17, 16 minutes. So I'm going to do a little bit more recording. Um, yeah, just a little bit more. Uh, probably just to get off German casts. And then... Thank you, Tuvi. Um, and then, yeah, then then we'll finish up. And then we've got to do the flashpoints, like I said. Because, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, so, yeah, let's accept this because I am doing their, their crew skills. Look at that, I'm already at 33 since we them because you get like five points. Um, no, you go there. You get like five points per thing you make. It's so cool. I should be there in no time. He hopes, but it's not going to happen. You see nothing, Droid. Right, so I've got to go speak to Darth Thanaton in a heroic area. Here you go. Thank you. Ooh, what'd you get me? I uh, in a galepon. Oh, you got me a necklace, did you? Where even is the necklace? There it is. Aww, you got me Vos jewelry. He loves me so much. At least I thought this was a heroic area. I guess I'm wrong in that. Um, I, 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 no, I, uh, I got like seven seconds before I can use Force Cloak and I can't be bothered to kill them. Uh, three, two, one. Bye bye! Bye bye! What? What? I was gonna say, why aren't you working? There we go. Ooh, hello. Hello, dead people. Oh, Thanaton! Hi! Uh, is anyone sort of. Nope, that's good. Thank you for meeting me here. Respect for her superiors is the mark of a good Sith. Of course, Zash would have disagreed, did disagree with me passionately on that point. But then, Zash never respected tradition. It's wise to respect your superiors. At least until you're powerful enough to kill them. Wise answer. You are not like your master. Tradition. Principles. History. 
the threads that compose our society. Zash refused to acknowledge how one little tug could ruin the whole tapestry. Your work was sloppy, oh. brazen even, but the news of her murder was sweet. Well, I'm glad it pleased. I would hate for my actions to disappoint you. I only hope the next time you'll be a little less obvious. Nevertheless, we're here to talk about you, not Zash. You have demonstrated remarkable ability. Though I am a stricter master than Zash, I think you'll find that to loyal followers of our traditions, I am not ungenerous. So, if I agree to your every whim, you might not kill me. Suspicion can be a form of wisdom, as long as it doesn't lead to disrespect. Now, I wish to see how you work. This tomb belonged to Darth Andrew, Sith scholar and alchemist. I'm interested in his last writings, which were buried with him. Recover them for me, and we will discuss your place in my power structure. Okay, find the writings of Darth Andrew. Well, I'm just going to stealth my way to the very end, if you don't mind me doing so. My word, there's a lot of enemies here in there. Am I able to skip past all of them? I am! Ah, so amazing. Um, oh, found them. Venom-toothed vipers always slithering, slithering. Up the walls, along the floors. Hello? Trespasser, trespasser. You'll not have it. It's mine. It's the last place in the galaxy that's mine. What are you railing on about? Tell me. Don't pretend you don't know your own treachery. The poison's still fresh in my body. You defile my tomb. You and your brother both. The venom may have burned away my sight, but I know you. Don't make my mistake. Strangle your children at birth. Oh, right. I'm not here to chat. You will die before I hand over my writings. Yeah, like that's gonna work. Okay, bye, Cam. Enough. Oh, welcome back. Hello. Foolish child. Twice now you walked into the still inhabited tomb of a Sith Lord unprepared. Look around. See the bones. The tattered robes. This is where Thanaton leads those he despises to death. You follow him blindly when you should plan to defeat him. Did you have a scheme in mind? Listen, flesh of my flesh. I have felt something in you since the day we met. You have a rare pull among ghosts. It's a source of great power, but it has destroyed many a Sith. It's your only chance against Thanaton. What do you mean I have a pull on the dead? They sense you from far away as I did. And you rouse strong emotions in them as with this ghost. In my time, there were mystical movements among the Sith that sought to communicate with ghosts and harness their power. A Sith named Urgast was said to devour ghosts the way your Dashar devours Force users. His knowledge was buried with him near the Dark Temple. Seek this knowledge. I hope this knowledge does what you say. Good luck, flesh of my flesh. Don't make me remind you again that you are the last hope of our lineage. You must augment your power before you face Thanaton. I will not have the strength to defend you again. You say that, but you keep doing it. You keep doing it. And I'm now going to go back to the Dark Temple. This keeps happening. I already took a trek. Now I'm going to go up, up the massive, huge trek. Can, can you can you stop making me go to the Dark Temple, please? Well, might as well set some people on this. I'll be done in no time. Yeah, might as well, cause mission parameters set. It's gonna take me about three minutes to even get to where I need to go, anyway. So you know, look at them all run. It's so funny. 
Wait, have I gone the right way? No, I've gone the wrong way. Damn it. Oh god, I'm gonna be knocked off my mount. I'm gonna be knocked off my mount. Please don't. Okay, where in the tomb am I going? Okay, not going too far. Just up the stairs. Let me get rid of some junk. Please use all products only as intended. I have no junk. Well, I can get rid of that. Yeah, hooray, got rid of one thing. What are these things which I crafted anyway? Um, okay, they're for more crafting. You gotta craft to craft. Wait, can I use rocket boost as well as that? Oh, can I use one or the other? That's a bugger. Haha, -ha, this is the phase I need to enter, is it? I have no companion as well. There's always a dead guy every time I come into one of these tombs. There's always one dead guy. Oh, hello. Uh, Hoverisks sort of flying in sync with each other. Oh, we got some droids as well. Well, don't mind me. Well, we got everything. We got flying beasts, we got droids, we got Takadas. What's next? Humans? Before I can even go any further, I have to wait for my companions to come back from doing their crew skills. <sighs> this is this is exciting. So um how how are you? Y you okay? Yeah? Talking to you, viewer. Yeah. Yeah. You you good? Y yeah, good good. Um I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting to be in this situation. Oh, what'd you get me? Ooh, companion gifts. Ah, lovely. Well, I do need chem out. Actually, no, I want Andronicos out, don't I? I want Andronicos. No! Yes, Andronicos. I don't want chem. Who, like, who even likes chem? I'm gonna give you... Well, I can't give you any of these companion gifts. Um, you got me a companion gift I can't give back to you. Great. Oh, <laughs> could you imagine how... <laughs> How crap that would be. Oh, you found me a companion gift. Oh, thank you. Do you want it? That'd be so weird. Come on, HK. I want to carry on with the mission. Here we go in stealth so I'm ready to go right past that droid. Optimal outcome achieved. Thank you. What have you given me? Like some some part of a snake? Oh, I can give that to Andronicos. That's exciting. All right. Hello. I found the tomb of Ergast. Used a ritual holocron. That's gonna leave a scar. Welcome, Seeker. I am the servant of Urgust, Lord of the Sith, keeper of his knowledge. Who stands before me, and what do you wish to learn? I guess I'll be pol. Uh, do I bow? Better be polite just in case. Wise keeper of secrets, I seek the ritual that can help me get past an angry ghost. There is no defense against death. But ghosts may be bound and their strength borrowed for a time. You must pull on the tether that connects life and death. You must learn to bind both sides of the Force, life and death, in what is known as the Force Walk. Question. Is Andronico seeing any of this? Eh. I will do my best. If you will teach me. No to the bones that lay around you. Not everyone is able to master the ritual of force walking. But if you are willing, drink from the cup before me. It is poison, but it will not kill you. If you say so. Ah, there we go. Have you drunk? Good. The poison will take effect quickly. Then you may learn the ritual of the Force Walk. You're supposed to be coming to my aid, Andronicos. You love me, don't you? Now that you are unconscious, we may begin. The ritual has two parts. First is the pacification. An angry ghost cannot be tethered. The second part is the binding. A willing ghost is easier to bind, but by leaving the ghost its will, 
we draw less of his power. A pact may be formed to bind the ghost willingly, sealed with blood, or the ritual of binding may be performed. Good. You're a quick learner. It's been a long time since a creature of such promise has entered my tomb. There has to be more to this than a little dreaming. A very quick learner indeed. You might just make it out of here alive. This is the test. Bind me, and you go free. I'll walk with you a time and see the Empire once more. Fail, and I kill you. I'm basically gonna fight you then, or something. I don't know. And don't bother trying to make a deal with me. I'll not go willingly. I'm guessing you're bound. Cool. You have passed the final test. I am now your slave, and my power is yours. You want to be my slave? This is I weird. am bound to your life, and you to my death. Use my strength to shield yourself against your foes. Okay. Oh, now we've got to go back to the spirit of... Andrew, okay. Well, this is now going to be a very long episode. Because, like I said, I'm not, fin I'm not finishing until we finish Drum and Cass. So, buckle up, people. Plus, this kind of makes up for the last few episodes being very, very short. So, might as well do like a massive, heap, nearly hour long episode. Well, these guys are still here. Have you got nothing better to do than just fly around in a small tomb? Seriously? Darth Andrew, I'm back and ready to bind you. Thank God you guys didn't see me. I'm back. Back again. I am. Just said I that. I hear your slithering. Venom-toothed viper. The only cure for madness is madness. What's happened? What did you do to me? You're not my daughter. Bring me that treacherous she-dog so I can cut her open. This is called the Force Walk. I'm taking your power for my own. And to think I scoffed when they told me such a ritual existed. Do you really think you can handle my power? It doesn't matter. You won't have me. This is my last stronghold. And I won't be your slave. Yes, you will. Then I guess I'll force you to come with me. You treacherous. Oh, you're cold. Well done. With the power of this ghost and the other, you may shield yourself against Phanaton's wrath. Take this one's writings and show Phanaton what a good apprentice you've been. What am I, a dog? What a good apprentice I've been. Oh, wait, what have I got to grab? I grab. Oh, just this thing. Okay, talk to Darth Phanaton. Where will he be? He be. I don't know. Will he be outside? He won't be outside. Where will he be then? I'm going to quick travel and find out. He better not be right outside the tomb. I'll be so mad if he is. Okay, I'm guessing I've got to go to my office. Guessing. And I have guessed right. Lovely. Off to my office I go. Oh, Sith Sorcerer. You've got a long way to go, man. A long way to go. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I've got a long way to go too, clearly. Oh, Thanaton! Guess what? 
Surprise, surprise! I got what you wanted. Hmm. You've put me in a difficult position. Why? Zash disobeyed me and had Scotia killed. Tradition demanded she be killed and her power base destroyed. Aww. Believe me, when I say I wish that you had stayed in that tomb, it will pain me to watch you die. Don't pretend to be hurt. Spare me the false tears. I'm ready to fight you. You are entitled to defend yourself. In fact, I'd expect nothing less. May the Force welcome you with open arms. Kill her. Do I get to fight you too? Whoa, 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 what the hell happened there? Something weird happened there. Oh, uh, uh, do I waste heroic mo- oh, I guess I'm gonna waste heroic moment. Fine. It's not like they're gonna win. That's Sith Warriors as well! How cute! And dead. You truly Wait. Okay. You truly are relentless. I can see now why Zash chose you. But this has carried on long enough. Ah, you've come prepared. By now, I should have expected it of you. Unfortunately for you, I am older and wiser and studied in rituals you can't even imagine. Oh, you're just like Zash. I have business on Malachor 3. Prepare my ship and see that this one gets a respectful cremation. Yes, my lord. Oh. Oh, hi! My lord. You're awake. We need to hurry out of here. If Thanaton finds out you're still alive, we're all in trouble. Let Thanaton find me. I'll kill him. I don't think you have the strength for that yet, my lord. Let's get back to the ship with the others. We can figure out what to do from there. Use your ship's intercom. Gladly. We'll do that, and then we'll, we'll finish. Because, yeah, very, 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 very long episode this time. And then, of course, next time, next week, I should say, we'll do boarding party and foundry. I was trying to remember what what was what was the names of the flashpoints. Yes, ah, oh, I'm tired. What time is it? Quarter past nine, nearly. Wow, I got work tomorrow. Ah. Hi, guys. How you doing? My lord, you're back. <laughs> Thought you were gone. I could get trampled by a bantha herd and not get knocked around as bad as you. You got knocked out we as well! We Thanaton's servants, cut them down, and pulled you out of a ditch. You didn't have a pulse at first, but then Carl noticed you were still warm. I don't know how you survived that. That explains why I'm still alive. Where's Thanaton? You sure you're ready to face him? He did a real number on you. And you! The survival is the most remarkable thing I've ever witnessed. I still can't quite figure it out. It seems Thanaton's ritual was too powerful for your shield. But he didn't fully understand the bond between you and the dead. To kill you, he would have had to purge their spirits. You died, and their very presence kept you alive. Oh, That's great, but what do we do? We can't wait for Thanaton to come back and kill us. You're not going to acknowledge that Zash is in chem? Because you never did that before, but oh well. Um... I'll find the most powerful dead in the galaxy, bind them, and take their power. Thanaton won't stand a chance. It's a gamble. None of us know what the cost of acquiring so much power so quickly could be. We don't seem to have any choice. Exactly. Better to do something than sit here and wait to be killed. So where do we find more ghosts? The Jedi on Terrace were investigating something of that nature. I sent a man to investigate shortly before my unfortunate change. I'd have to do more research on the matter to confirm, but I suggest making contact with him. I am most grateful. I wish we had more to go on, but right now that's all I have. Corin and I will dig around too, and we'll keep an eye on Thanaton. If he makes a move, we'll let you know. Good luck, my lord. Cam's gonna enjoy all that reading. He really is. Well, we're done now. 
And uh, no, not level 30. I should get to level 30 in the next episode, though. I'm a force walker, apparently. How exciting. Well, what a very long episode this is. So, Taris got this explosion there and there. My word. Seriously. So, next episode will be boarding party and then the foundry. And then we'll do the Padawan on Taris. Ah, I'm going to go to sleep now. So, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I shall see you next time. Any farewell properly this time to you.